Hello everyone and good day to all. Today we are going to talk about the five levels of data science that you will need to master as a professional data scientist. Level 1 is Python. Basics of Python, conditional statements in Python, data structures in Python, loops in Python, list comprehensions in Python, and not just that, you will also need to understand how to work with an API. You will need to understand what Pythonic coding is. You will need to have a, a detailed understanding of a library called PEP8. P E P8. Now that you have mastered Python, what next? Well, the next step is data. I always say in data science before the science, data comes. So we need to master data. Well, to master data, you need to understand how to connect to various databases, how to work with various databases, uh, whether that be Postgres, Mongo, MySQL, Cassandra, and many other databases. You have to understand all of the database paradigms. Next, you will have to learn how to do exploratory data analysis. You have to understand the principles of exploratory data analysis. You have to understand how to do it in Python. You have to understand how you can prototype exploratory data analysis in Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. Then the next level is storytelling with data. You have to understand how to make powerful meaningful presentations out of your exploratory data analysis. You have to understand how to get your point across, how to communicate with data, how to tell a story with data. Lastly, the step in data is dashboarding. You have to understand how to create powerful, meaningful dashboards. Again, all of the things that we learned in data till now, as well as Python, will play a role here. Uh, you have to understand the principles of dashboarding. These are called the first principles of dashboarding. Why having numbers alone is not a good thing in dashboards. Why comparison is a critical thing in dashboards and so on. Once you have at least two, three projects around dashboards in your kitty, you will be able to say that you are a master of dashboards. What next? Well, finally, we come to machine learning. In machine learning, you will have to learn the conceptuals. You will have to learn the sklearn implementations as well. Finally, you can create your data science portfolio by implementing projects on Kaggle. You'll have to understand what is supervised clustering, what is unsupervised clustering. You will have to do multiple projects around classification. You'll have to do multiple projects around clustering, multiple projects around regression. Then you also have to look at something called as time series analysis and anomaly detection. In machine learning, you will have to learn various algorithms, whether that be linear regression, SVM, K-means, KNN, everything and anything that encompasses the massive, massive corpus of machine learning. Next, we will have to master deep learning. We will have to understand a feed-forward neural network. We'll have to understand what is back propagation. We'll have to understand what is a convolutional neural network. What is a recurrent neural network? What is back propagation in time? What are challenges in deep learning? Not just that, you will also have to understand some complex models such as inception net, res net, uh, layout LM, multimodals as well, Roberta, uh, XLM Roberta. These are things that you will have to understand. Finally, the most popular level that you will have to master is Gen AI and Agentic AI. You will have to master transformers. You will have to learn about the Gen AI glossary. What are LLMs? What is the difference between generative AI and LLMs? What is the difference between data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, Gen AI? All of these terms you need to understand. Then you will have to understand what is prompt engineering. What are various strategies in prompt engineering? The first project that you should build around LLMs and generative AI should be a rag based project, a retrieval augmented generation project. Then you should also learn about vector databases to optimize your rag. Finally, you should also look at all of these various tools that are coming out in generative AI, whether that be tools such as Docklink, Firecrawl, Chainlit, all of these are really, really important tools to understand. These will 
add to your data science portfolio then we need to understand what is agentic ai what is an gen ai agent we have to understand agentic ai frameworks such as autogen pydantic ai and crew ai we'll have to create multiple projects around these frameworks lastly there's a hidden level which may not be relevant for a beginner but for an experienced data scientist you should be knowing about this level you need to understand how to create data science solutions you need to understand how your model will interact with the end customer how your model can interact with things like kafka kubernetes docker all of these technical solutions you need to understand so that you can finally create a business ready solution if you have any questions please let me know i will try to answer as many as possible in the comments thank you